Hello, this is Carlos with House of Tennis and in this video we will cover the technical aspects of the inside out forehand and at the same time I will provide you with some tactical advantages of this great stroke. The inside out forehand is one of the best weapons in tennis since it will create options to either hit a winner, create a forced error or get a short approach if it's executed correctly. In modern tennis, the forehand is usually stronger than the backhand since it gives you the options of creating not only more power but heavier spin. Therefore, the inside out forehand should be a shot that you want to hit as much as possible since it will create more opportunities to open up the court and to force errors from your opponents. The first step is to recognize an inside out forehand and in order to identify the shot the first thing you have to do is to get a read on where the incoming ball is headed so that you can move into the correct position to hit an inside out. It is important to stand towards the backhand side of the court in order to give yourself a better chance to maneuver into position with a lot of open court in the opposite direction. The best way to improve the inside out recognition is to try to run around your backhand as much as you can. This will allow you to determine how fast and accurate you can set up and get in the right position. Some players will be faster than others to get around the ball, so the key is to find out what type of ball will allow you to create the proper space. The second step is the unit turn. After you do the split step and you determine that you have time to run around your back and hit an inside out forehand, the next step is to turn the shoulders with the racket above the grip and your non-dominant arm across your body in order to create an efficient and balanced unit turn. An efficient turn will help initiate the coiling of the body that will allow you to uncoil it when hitting the ball. A good drill that you can do is to start with a nice ready position then work on your split step nice and wide and turn your shoulders so you can simulate the perfect unit turn. The third step is the correct movement and load for the inside out. After recognizing the inside out and getting the unit turn ready, the next step is to set the feet properly. Creating the proper space between the player and the ball on the inside out forehand is crucial and the most challenging part to master for this shot. Hitting an inside out means that you will be running around your natural backhand. Therefore, you will have more distance to travel than normal, but in the same amount of time. In order to set the feet well for the inside out, get your back leg around using the backward crossover and gallop back to use as few steps as possible to create the right amount of space. And then a final few adjustment steps into the correct loading position. It's highly important to set your feet properly for the inside out because if your contact is too close to your body, you lose power and you will have trouble hitting the ball on an inside out path. Keep the ball at a comfortable distance from your body and make sure that you have enough space to rotate forward after creating proper space, maintaining a balanced posture. The direction in which you move to hit an inside out forehand varies in terms of the location of the ball that is being received. It could be an inside out moving backwards of your back foot where the goal is to hit a high and heavy ball to the right-handed player's back. Also, it could be an inside out closer to the baseline where the swing path could be more linear in order to create a more penetrating shot or it could be an inside out inside the baseline on mid-court ball that could be used as a scoring shot or approach to finish the point at the net. The wider you find yourself hitting the inside out forehand, the more of an angle you can create in order to get your opponent off the court. A drill that you can do is to simulate the movement by moving forward, sideways, and backwards in order to find the right space with solid adjustment steps. Now the perfect loading position is with a semi-open stance to wind up and separate the shoulder from the hip. This is the quickest way to get the setup, while at the same time facilitating a good deep knee bend in order to store energy from the torque of your hips and shoulders to unleash both rotational and linear momentum into the ball at the moment of impact. 
The semi-open stance will make it easier to generate a heavy high bouncing topspin ball that will allow you to get the ball to the weaker backhand side and away from your opponent's strike zone. It's highly important to load with a semi-open stance on both your inside out forehand and inside in forehand. This will allow you to disguise the shot and keep your opponent off balance by making it harder to anticipate your shot. A very good drill that you can do to improve this is have a player hitting an inside out and an inside in with the semi-open stance. They have to look very alike in terms of the setup. The only difference should be the direction of the ball. The fourth step is having a solid rotation and finish. Once in a good loading position, the proper use of the body weight and torque has to be carried out in order to generate the much needed power to hit a successful inside out. As you uncoil your kinetic change into the ball, there needs to be a forward momentum and balance in order to hit a powerful and heavy ball. When you use this shot, your tactical intention has to be very aggressive. A weak inside out forehand is vulnerable to an opponent with an stable back and down the line. A drill that you can do to improve your rotation is have the player working on transferring the weight forward with a great load for both an inside out and inside in, focusing on a nice posture and balance when you finish. Once you rotate properly, remember to keep a nice and relaxed loose wrist on the follow through. Focus on the powerful forces you have imparted from the impact zone into the ball. Your racket position varies depending on what kind of inside out you want to execute. A drill that you can do is have a player working on different finishes on different parts of the court. Also work on angular finish for topspin shots and linear finishes for higher balls that should be a lot flatter and more penetrating. Now some important tactical advantages of the inside out forehand is that your stronger forehand will be going to your opponent back. Also it is easier to create more spin and height with the forehand so your opponent will have to deal with a high backhand away from his ideal strike zone. Another important reason is that if you establish your inside out forehand as a main tactic early in the match, your opponent will try to start moving earlier towards their backhand side to anticipate the inside out. When this happens, you will have the inside in forehand available and plenty of open space to stay in control of the point. Remember that the inside out forehand has a much lower percentage of play since the distance that you have to hit the ball is shorter and the ball also travels towards the higher part of the net. Therefore, make sure that you use the inside in when you have created enough space. Since the inside out and the inside in are hit with the semi-open stance, it will give you more disguise than when you're hitting a natural back. Finally, to get out of the pattern where you find yourself hitting a heavy inside out forehand to the backhand side, your opponent will have to choose to go down the line with the backhand that it should be his weakest shot. And also he will be hitting that backhand down the line away from his ideal strike zone. That is why the inside out forehand gives you such a great tactical advantage. To conclude, when executed properly, the inside out forehand has a determining influence on the game due to the fact that it has a high percentage of success. It gives you the option to stay in control of the point and there's no better way to do that than to keep your opponent moving or off balance. Combining an awareness of both the technical aspect of the inside out forehand and the tactical advantages of this shot will improve your tennis performance even more. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe and if you have any questions, use the comment section.